Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel for another First Amendment Expose. If you like this video, please subscribe. It's a small click but with a big impact. Today I chose a video from Surreal Cam. In this video, Joel Lopez audits a post office. Alright, let's do this. Joel Lopez, or favorite mouth breeding addict, crazy glue enthusiast, and dumbest Friday third to ever live, was in a post office yesterday. And it's been a while since I haven't heard a lunatic and moronic junkie mentioning poster 7. Uh, there's something frustrating but intoxicating about Joel's stupidity. And my friend, he is very, very, very stupid. This is a clip of one of his previous audits. All right, guys, so this is all right here. Wow. I guess where they take some tests or something, I don't know. Yeah, well, you don't know anything, so. And here is the, um, this is the timer here. What? Yeah, bro, so that's the time. I, I, I can I, I will never get over it. Ugh. Anyway, in this video, he's with a strange guy. He probably met a few minutes before uh, while smoking in the LA next to a garbage can. Enjoy. Come back to this real can. We're out in beautiful Naples, Florida. Call your county. They say it's the richest county in the whole United States. And we're out at the... United States Post Office, and we're going to respectfully exercise our First Amendment right here to record in this federal property. Bam! Oh my god, and he says bam, bam, yeah, bam, like you just prove a point? Bam! Yeah. Poster 7 is the simplest, yet the most misunderstood piece of document in the history of mankind. Let's just read it again real quick for shit and giggle. Photographs for news purposes may be taken right there. We should stop. You're not taking photograph, you're filming, and you're not news. Get out! So taken in entrance, lobbies, foyers, uh, corridors, and auditoriums when? When used for public meeting. Everyone, get out! And then, you know, just to finalize, except where prohibited by official signs or security force personal or other authorized person. <laughs> Who says that? It's it's a it's a it's a federal law. Am I talking to her or you? I, I'm I'm ex she told you once and you didn't understand, so I was explaining. No, I understand what she so said. Then you're continuing though, right? Yeah, I have a right to do this. You do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, they have the right to ask you to stop. Then you sweaty monkey. What was that? What are you guys doing? Oh. Uh, buying a buying a stamp. No pets allowed. Oh, that's great. It's another reason to ask you to leave. And by the way, you're supposed to keep it on a leash, okay? Are you videoing? Huh? Are you videoing? Yeah, why? why? What do you mean, why? Because I. Well, I don't want to be on your video. <laughs> Or you just cause attention to the camera. Well, I know, but why are you videoing? Who are you, lady? You just walked in behind me and just started saying you don't want to be videoed. See those cameras? Well, Being videoed right now. I know, but why are you videoing me? Because I'm working right now. <laughs> <laughs> I get in the post office. Yeah, I'm a journalist. Oh, come on! And I'm recording my interactions with the post, post office. That's all I'm doing. <sighs> People... Once you leave your, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's good to ask. It's cool. Well, yeah. What if you were in a store and somebody, you were in TJ Maxx and somebody started videoing you? Well, you like uh, this is not TJ Maxx. I'm just example. Yeah. You're exercising your rights. Yeah. It's nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. Every time you leave your house, you're being recorded in everywhere you go these know, days. So it's not. Yeah. That's makes no not, difference so we need other people to yeah work. it's all right to ask yeah it's true that multiple cameras might film you in public but none of them follow me doing my chores to use me as a prop to make you to money that's the fucking difference you old piece of cheese this is a post office it's a business and a non-public forum they receive no direct funds from taxpayers and the stupid poster seven told you not to film there three different time and, and you're not a journalist none of this is journalism. 
I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting flossed through a bit. I'm gonna. What? <sighs> okay, fine, fine. I'm cool. I'm fine. But yeah, you can pretend to be a journalist or to be LT or good looking or successful or happy, but you're none of those things, Joel. It's all right, Dad. If you don't want your picture taken, you got to leave the park. Then nobody will be there. Especially in a public place. We don't got no privacy out in public. Um, do you see the walls around you and the roof over your head? Uh, you're not in public, bozo the addict. All right, let's do it. What's up, man? I just need a stamp. That's it. You recording? You recording? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Can you turn that off? Wait, why you're should I? You're not supposed to record in a federal Who said that? It's, it's a law. What law is that? You can look it up. You're not supposed to record oh, federal. Oh, have you looked up your poster seven? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. an actual law. Seven you can't right record in here. What law is that, though? Do you know it, about it, the law? It's a law. Oh, we'd love to know what law that is. It must be new, then. I just want a stamp, bro. That's it. I'm not going to sell you a stamp until you stop recording. Oh, you're going to refuse service? Yeah. <laughs> and he totally can refuse service and ask you to stop filming again joel you're wrong you're wrong and you have been wrong at every step of your life so far for years and years Ooh. brother Ooh. go get your supervisor please okay. what's your name he's right here you see my name i ain't gotta tell you my name oh. There's no need to be rude, dude. I just want to stamp. I'm asking you to stop recording, man. I don't have to stop recording, dude. Yes, you do. Listen to your supervisor. Who are you talking to? To you. You got an attitude problem, bro. Yeah. You got a major attitude problem, bro. You're freezing service hey, to the public. What are you doing here? You ain't gonna work. What are you doing here? Yo, what was his name again? Yo, I need a stamp, bro. The people are ridiculous, dude. Hey, guys. This is exactly why I record the government. Exactly yeah, why. Exactly why. That unprofessionalism acting, that, 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 the way they act like that, they can't do that over a camera. We have a First Amendment right to record the government, dude, that's crazy. Uh, Joel, your friend looked like he needs some vitamins or supplements or some brain cells at least. Also, please, can you pinpoint me where in the First Amendment it says that you can film the government? Hey, how do I file a complaint on that guy? Uh, you're gonna get a receipt when she sells you a stamp and it has a QR code and you go to the QR code and you deliver you and a complaint. I can, that's how I file complaints in the, in the post office. Can I do it with you, like, verbally or like with... Because they're gonna issue a receipt. I already did. Alright. That's crazy. Okay, you're gonna get a receipt. Alright, you can't be acting like that, brother. You can't be acting like that, brother. You need to yeah. serve the public yeah, right, dude. Of course, for a frauditor, serving the public right means that they need to participate in their stupid games for YouTube uh, content and not stand for themselves. You know what? You did good, Austin. You stand for yourself in front of that criminal junkie? Good for you. Yeah, I just want to stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it matter what kind? No, no. Nope, nope. Purple heart is What's your one? Yeah. Appreciate it. What's your name? What's your name? It's right here on my tag. Can't verbalize it. I can't. I don't know how to verbalize that. I, you know, you're making me feel really uncomfortable. I just asked for your. I know you have. I just asked for your name. What is this? Is it Sherry? Is Sherry? Seventy-three. Right there. Is it Sherry? I don't understand why you can just pronounce your name. Because there's just so many things going on these days, man, you know. So what you know, what things are going on? Make phone calls and stuff, and it's like you said. I'm just inter I'm just recording my interaction with uh with you guys. And I appreciate your business. We do. You are a public employee. Oh my god, no, she's not, and you're harassing her. Your professionalism matters. Thank you so much. Is there anything else I can do for you today? Yeah, just don't be ashamed of your name. I'm not ashamed of it. Yeah, you are, you don't want to pronounce it. There's no reason for that. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Sherry, Cheryl, whatever your name is. <laughs> it's ridiculous, dude. Oh, okay. Uh, Joel is a bit confused here. Let me explain uh, to you why she doesn't want you to have her name and why you make her uncomfortable. It's because you're a fucking creep. That's right. Um, so is that the way you file complaints? On, um, I never heard of that in a receipt. It's not 
I mean, I'm pretty sure you can take it down verbally. I want to keep up with that complaint. He just refused service on me for no apparent reason. Are you the postmaster here? No, I'm not. You're the supervisor? Yes. Wonderful. Can you, like, you thought that was professional, man? I just wanted a stamp. He totally refused service. That's against your policy. Right. Because we have a camera. We, right. I didn't come no rude. I didn't come rude to him or anything like that. You know, that that's wrong. This is why I record my interaction with you guys. Investigate you guys' professionalism. They can't be doing that, man. You know, so how do, how do I... I mean, so did you uh, purchase a stamp? Yeah, I did. So leave a feedback on that QR code for me. What was your name again? Alton? Alton. Elton, yes. and you're the supervisor to this post office. Right. I got my email here. Oh, what, that lady's name? What's her name right there? The the one right there with the glasses. What's her name? It's public information. No, I didn't ask her. But what's her name? She's just saying that um, I'm here for credit cards. Oh, she told everybody to hide their credit cards. I'm not here for that. She's already lying to to the people here. That's not cool, bro. Come on. Yes, sir. So you're gonna leave my your email to me uh, for my complaints or what? The receipt that you got from the clerk, it has a number on top. You call that number, they're going to open a case for you. They're going to record your case and they're going to give you so a case. So what's her name so I can file complaints on that lady too? Can I just say that of all the idiots, in all the idiot villages, in all the idiot worlds, you stand alone, my friend. That guy doesn't even care. Not one bit about how his employees are acting here. I should file complaints on that guy too. You got, you got to. Yeah, he's just trying to kick my ass. Go ahead, kick it, kick it, kick it. What do you mean you can't? It's public building. This is a public building. You don't got no privacy in public. Mind your own business, sir. Mind your own business. Don't threaten people like that. Go get his license plate. Go get his license plate. I am. Mom, I'm recording. I'll call you back. Huh? This is public right here. No, it's private. Who owns this? Why don't you keep minding your business and stop threatening people? I'm you, he just said. Okay then. Well, you're in public. So what? But I'm not even here for these snowflakes, dude. I'm not even here for these dumb snowflakes, dude. Hey man, you're black. You are too. Bro, he ain't gonna do nothing, dude. He ain't gonna do nothing, bro. Get his plate in the front. Get his plate in the front right there. Zoom in on that. These snowflakes are ridiculous. And what are you supposed to do with this plate? Like, what are you... Uh, I can't be any more peaceful and respectful when I do my audits. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? I don't know how to be more respectful than I already am and more peaceful. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> I, I have your back. I have your back, if anything. I'm not here for snowflakes. Yeah, you got the receipt, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and do that and follow that procedure. Just like this guy says, and see where that takes us in the complaint, guys. I'll keep you updated on that. Oh my god, and that's how it ends with the wobble of shame uh, with Laurel and RD here. They're probably gonna take a puff in the parking lot and go for another audit. <laughs> Again, the only thing Joel proved with this video is that he can't read, or if he can read, he cannot understand what he read. He also proved that his friends are retarded. Uh, his mouth breathing is getting worse. Uh, you should talk to a doctor. And as always, he's the dumbest guy in the room, or for this audit, let's say second, uh, because that guy looks like the human version of a dirty kitchen rag. You have no skills and you're a loser! <laughs> All right, enough with these clowns, my dear Joel. Like they say in the Philippines, we're dying in a more. Shout out to the members. You're the reason why we're gonna leave on Mars someday. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's expose those clowns one at a time. Bye.